so here we are back at Photoshop splash screen. So this is kind of, well, let me try to think of what best way to say this. Um, I hope you can stomach this because I'm a little concerned that, you know, some of the imagery that we're going to see here may kind of gross you out. So um, just letting you know, we're going to, first of all, let me go through the pictures of what we're going to try to do. So as you can see right now, we've got a scratch here, see some blood. Then you got this right here where you're seeing like the scar. I mean, it's not too bad. I'm sure you've seen worse, but we're going to try to heal this. Okay, now we got facial things. Here's the poor kid here. We're going to remove all his acne, although I think his acne was Photoshopped because it looks like the same exact kid. Uh, we are going to also, let me look at that, why is that there? Okay, so we're going to move this here, we'll talk about this a little bit later. Same thing with this one right here. Okay, so now we're going to go to freckles, and she's got lots of freckles, so we're going to try to clear her up. And then we've got another scar, I won't zoom that in, but I personally think that's makeup, or that's sort of like a special effects. Now we're going to try to fix wrinkles, okay? We'll do the best we can, same thing with her. Okay, and then we've got another acne situation, so. And we got another one here, so this one kind of needs help. All right, so what we're going to do now, and of course with land, we're going to show you, first of all, we're going to try to remove this whole uh, power lines and not sure. I mean, to me, power lines are just, they're, they're an eyesore. So at any rate, chemical damage, of course, we're going to try to fix the dark spots, uh, the, the dry spots of this lawn. Okay, so let's go ahead and fire up Photoshop. And if you, actually, before you fire up Photoshop, so whichever class you're in, like right now, let's go to period three. You might be period six, period two, whatever. So we're going to be visiting two different new tools here. One is called the Spot Healing Tool and the Healing Brush Tool. So if you click on this, you will, first of all, the essence of this is very simple. First of all, you will download the zip file. Move the cursor over, right click, right click, open a link in a new tab, and then you'll be, you see the new tab appears. And then what you're going to do is you're going to download all these files and if you click on this little icon right here that points, this is the download. This is the universal download symbol. And what you'll get is something like this right here. You'll have a folder called the Healing Brush Series. And, there you, and inside you'll have three different folders. And inside the folders you've got the different kinds of images. Alright, so go ahead and download that. Stop this video if I'm going too fast. In the meantime, let's go back over here. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to click on the Spot Healing Google Slides. Click on this. You should all have a copy. Put your name and your period number, and then here you're going to, well, I guess you can add the title, whatever you want to say, um, but you're going to put the before, app, before picture here. So let's do one of them. Okay, so this might be Let's see, let's try the scar thing. So we'll bring this in. And as you can see, you're going to have to shrink it a little bit. Okay, and then once that has healed, you put the other one right here. So we'll keep the way it is right now. And let's, uh, a title, you know, again, I'm not concerned about title. You can go ahead and remove the title if you don't want to do that. That's okay by me. Okay, so, or what you can do, let's do this. Let's go ahead and put down exactly what tool we're going to use. Let's say if we decide to use the healing brush tool. Okay, so I should see about 50% healing brush tool, 50% uh, spot healing tool. So let's go into Photoshop and see exactly which one I'm going to use. All right, so what we'll do is, uh, let's see, where is that? Here's right here, bring this over here. Hopefully it'll work. There it is. Okay. So now we got this little little blood here. Again, hopefully you're okay with this. Now let me introduce you to a couple of new tools, and that is called 
Well, it's right over here. So it's the from the move tools one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you'll see that there's a series of tools. One is called the spot healing tool, and one is called the healing brush tool. So let's go ahead and do with the spot healing tool, okay? And you notice this is a brush tool, okay? So there's a brush. So the spot healing tool, okay, now if we looked up online what the difference is, okay, so let's type it in, okay, difference between, there it is right there. So the spot healing tool doesn't require you to specify a sample spot, okay. The spot thing automatically samples around, okay, the touched area. So you don't have to, it, it's kind of hard to explain without doing it, okay. So it says here, for retouching the large area or for, for more control of the source sample, you can use the healing brush instead of the, all right. So the, the spot healing tool is more the immediate area, okay. So here we have this scenario here. Let's go ahead and click on the Spot Healing Brush Tool. Now, I'll go ahead and watch what happens. I'm just going to click and drag and cured. 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 So there we have one of the spots here that have been cured. Let's go back to the beginning. And instead, let's do this. Let's choose the Healing Brush Tool. Now, the Healing Brush Tool means I'm going to sample this area right here before I uh, drag the cursor over, okay? So it needs to read the surrounding area. So let's go ahead and do this. Press the Alt key, okay? Hold on a second. There, and notice how the cursor kind of changes to, to a cross here. So that tells me that I'm kind of sampling that area. So I'm gonna do this and click. So I press the Alt key and click. Now that the now notice you see how you see how the cursor is carrying that information from the area that I just selected. So now if I was to do this, you'll see that it kind of follows the crosshair, and it actually is a little bit of better job. Now you'll see that I can't really tell. Okay, so if I was to sample this part now, if I was to press the Alt key and sample this area and go over it again, okay, it's almost like it was never there. Whoops. Let's go ahead and bring this back up again. 3345. Okay. So let me go back again to, you know, doing this. So when, once again, if I was to choose a spot healing brush tool, there is really, I'm sorry, the, uh, let's do the healing, the, the spot healing brush tool. I'm actually just kind of, but you kind of see a little bit of scarring, okay? You see that? Uh, there's a little bit of scarring, okay? So this is a spot healing brush tool. I'm going to duplicate this. Okay, and there, so that's the, that's the spot healing brush tool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and create the healing brush tool. Okay, so notice right there, again, I need to sample that. And let's see how that looks. It doesn't look too good there, it kind of messed up there. So, try it again. And try it again. Okay, so let's see which one we like better, this one or this one. They kind of, I will say this one here using the, uh, the healing brush tool. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, what you're going to do, obviously, is you're going to put, uh, you notice you already have the healing before, and so what you can do now, instead of having to save this right here, so you can do hit do this. Select all. You notice the marching ants, and then edit copy. Now you can go into the slides and then just do edit paste. There it is right there. Now please don't just do one scar. This poor soul here needs all of his scars. So us, uh, you know, 
fixed up. So actually, let's go ahead and do that. Let's do this. Let's do once again. And I think it was a healing brush tool. So we're going to select this area, uh, maybe maybe this area here. Okay, and then I'm just going to drag across. Done. Um, drag. So I'm going to basically press Alt and then drag across. That one's pretty cool. All right, and then here, same thing. It's pretty easy. I'm going to click here and drag across and it's copying the information from where I need to be. Now I've got this scenario. Maybe I can even fix this better. So I'm going to click right here. Let's see if I can get rid of the little scarring. And as you can see, it works. So I'm going to click over here. There you have it. So it looks like nothing happened. I mean, you see a little red patch here. Fix it up. There we go. Okay. So as you can see, there's a big difference between this and that. Looks like nothing happened here. So this is the one I would recommend you use, which is the healing brush tool. And then go back to the slides, paste it. Okay. Go ahead and reduce it. Okay. And that's how you do it. Okay. So now let's go into something else. Uh, let's go ahead and click on, I'm not going to save all this. All right, let's go on to something else. Let's try, um, let's try face. Let's try this poor kid right here. Open with Photoshop. All right, so now we're gonna try to match this face with that face. And All right, so let's do this. We can do a couple of ways. We can use a spot healing brush tool. Okay, and just kind of dab, gone. Dab, gone. Dab, gone. Okay, dab gone. Or we can use the healing brush tool and maybe click here. See that? How oh, it kind of so the healing brush tool actually works a little bit better. Okay, so I want to dab click on the area I want, and there we have it. Okay. So there we have it. So it's not to say the spot healing brush tool doesn't have its purpose. It's got its top place, but it's, you know, you got to be selective and you got to know exactly what you're doing. So let's go. Oops, this one's going to be a tough one. This one, wow, this one is kind of hard because let's see if we use the he spot healing brush tool. Yeah, see, I'm cutting off the eyebrow, so got to be careful there. Okay, and yeah, maybe right over here. And this is all the, now I use a combination. So what I'm going to do now is obviously I'm going in here. I'm hoping that this kid uh, didn't experience too much here because this looks like he kind of, all right, so here we have right here. Um, and then of course, you know, you saw the before and after right there. So I would go ahead and well, I would copy this, this selection. Okay, there we go. That would be the after. So I would go back over here. Okay, so this would click there. There he is. This is the after. So how do I get the before? Well, you should have taken a picture right off the bat. And then let's go over here. Oops, sorry. Let's go to history. Like that. This is before, so I'm just going to go ahead and highlight this person here. Can you see? Here we have it. Before and after. So that's pretty good right there, you know. And um, so, what did I ask you? Peeling brush tool. Well, you know what? Listen, uh, don't bother with this then. I'm just interested in the before and after. Okay, so that's good enough in here. Because you don't know exactly what you're going to use. All right, let's try one more sample. And this time I'm going to choose landscape. Okay, so let's do this. Okay. 
All right. Now there's a couple of things you can do. You can, of course, uh, use the healing brush tool and watch what happens. Nothing. That's why with the healing brush tool, you're going to have to sample an area. And there you have it. So now I'm patching it up because I'm also, so I'm going to click here. There you have it. Kind of be careful with the dead grass. There you go. Or I can go back to the beginning and use the spot healing tool. Make this into a bigger brush. Just drag and drag. Okay, so it kind of looks a little, you know, I don't know. It, it looks all right. So there we have it. Okay, so you may want to try that on your own and uh, turn it in, have fun, do what you got to do. All right, Mr. Haig, over and out.